Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to show you my method for making different sizes of galvanized tubs using cardstock. I used a compass to help me draw a large circle onto a piece of cardstock. I draw a circle within a circle lining up my center mark. And now I'm drawing another circle within that other circle that will give me some smaller size tubs. Here I'm cutting it out just the outer circle. I'm folding it in half because I know since I'm working in miniature I won't need that much. Now I'm cutting it in half but I'm going to save that other half, it's important. I don't know why I folded that half and half. Don't do that, just cut, a, just cut on the lines to get your arches. The arches will help us make patterns that we can use over and over again in the future. I even cut a straight strip that could be used if you don't want the walls of your tub to flare out. Here I am making a base for the tub so I'm, I just folded some paper in half, some cardstock in half, and I'm just going to draw out a shape, either a rectangle or an oval. You may have something sitting at your desk that you like the shape of it that would make a nice tub that you could just trace around too as well. Whatever works for you to come up with a base for your tub. On this one, I was making a rounded corner rectangle base. I am terrible with trying to figure out the math to know how much, so, how much of the side that I need to go around whatever base it is. So this method has really helped with that. I looked around and I didn't really have any interesting shapes to trace for a tub. So I'm creating an oval shape right now. Everything that I had was too large for the scale that I work in. I fold it in half before I cut it because it helps keep it all of the same size. These are going to become the patterns for the different shapes of tubs. You can cut these bases out of cardstock or cereal box, whatever you choose, probably even chipboard. I numbered each one of these pattern bases I traced out two or three layers for each base and glued them together. I'm showing you here how I took that other half that I did not cut and I'm laying the pieces on there so you see they are the same size. Here I'm curling it a little bit with the end of my paintbrush. And now I'm gluing it onto the base. It was helpful to glue small sections at a time. I'm drawing a line and checking to see on both sides, the inside and the outside, if that's where I want to cut so that it overlaps just a little bit. And then I'm reinforcing it by running a, a line of glue around the inside. I even take my finger and smooth it out. Here I'm showing you that crease that I put in when I fold it in half. Don't worry, yours won't look that way. So the piece that I cut off, I hold against the other half and I cut that away and I see how much I used and that part becomes my pattern. So I have that little piece that was left over and I'm gonna cut it and the larger piece is how much it took to cover that tub. So I number it the same as the base. So I remember next time if I make a tub, I put the two ones together or whatever number your pattern pieces are just match them up. I even made a smaller size for like a little dish pan. And here are the various sizes and shapes that I made. And I have the patterns to make as many as I would like. Now 
For the handle on the side, I took some crochet thread and stiffened it and formed it into the shape of a handle and glued it. And then I take a piece of copy paper and I run that through that little handle I made and glue it. And then I cut the edges even. I glue the handles to the top edge of the tub. Make sure to line up your handles with each other. I don't know what this cording is. It's something I had back from scrapbooking days, but it's like a paper twine. I'm gluing it around the edge to give it that, roll, that rolled look that tubs have. I'm taking some of my stiffened crochet thread and running it around the base of the tub. I also use my stiffened crochet thread to make these loops around a paintbrush to be a handle. And then just paint as desired. I did a base coat of Mod Podge, then black, and then I'm using some gray and silver. The other half of my circle I cut out and then I took the strips and I'm making these little like pot shapes or uh, pitcher shapes. And then I glue them down to cardstock instead of gluing them around a base. So I didn't create a pattern. I'm just using up some of the arch shape that I had. And I made various sizes of uh, pitchers. I was trying to create a pouring spout, but I am not so great at this. But I made it work somehow. I used a piece of scrap foam and I was pressing it with the ball stylus to give it a curve shape. This part is really just me being experimental and trying different things. I was trying to figure out which one I liked it on better. You can cut the cardstock away at the bottom once you're happy with them. I also used some stiffened crochet thread around where the neck and the pitcher started. I hope you give these a try and that you have some fun making your own galvanized tubs and pitchers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.